portal for anybody. All right, so we are in January 2021. Um, just take a moment to bring your attention back to yourself. You can place hands on the body wherever you feel like it's needed, heart, belly, shoulders, head, just to um, access that um, magic of, of um, connection, of your own connection and coming back into your body. And just check in and just see how am I feeling right now? How am I feeling right now? We are not looking to attain some sort of enlightenment or perfect state. We're just checking in to see how you're doing. The world is pulling us outside a lot. And luckily we have these sessions, these moments just to bring ourselves back to ourselves and remind ourselves that we're here. Here I am, I am here. And at the moment, we've got this situation happening where the stress response is quite high for some, um, and we all have different days and different things that are happening. But I just wanted to talk a little bit about the science, um, because when we're exposed to threats like this, or any threat, um, our little amygdala in the brain um, is an ancient bit of kit. And normally what would happen is when we have a threat, we would run really, really, we've got the fight, flight, freeze mode. Generally, we would run really fast if there was a bear or something that was going to attack us. But at the moment, what we're doing is we're sitting still and we're staying home. And that's why it's really good to move your body. If you can shake every day or dance every day and purely for, you know, sometimes there'll be enjoyment with it, but purely for just moving the energy around the body to help release the stress response that's going on in the body. And um, obviously the breath, we will do some breathing today. But what I thought would be useful would be to start with some movement for our head, neck and shoulders. And you'll have to um, bear with me um, because obviously I'm, you're not going to be able to see everything. But um, if we just start here, with taking your fingertips and thumbs together like this and then you're going to stretch your arms out so that the fingers and thumbs are pointing up towards the ceiling so you're going to start to get this nice stretch in the shoulders and the arms and already you might be going oh my god so just breathe into that breathe into that stretching the arms out fingertips are pointing up like so and then you're going to take your chin down to your chest and roll your ear up to one shoulder. It doesn't matter which one. Breathing into any tension that you're feeling. And you can move your chin up and down. If you think of it like your gear stick. You're, you're using this to maneuver your chin to check out where in your body you're feeling the tension. And then stay in that place and breathe. For me, it's when I take my chin quite far up. I get this real tension like a bruise in my chin and shoulder good so I breathe into that but after doing it for a few days actually I've lost that feeling that's so intense there bring your chin back down to the center and then take the ear over to the other side And moving your chin as you need to, to access any tight points. And then coming back to center, of course, you can extend this when you're doing it on your own. Roll the shoulders around. And then you can just shake them up and down. Okay, and then all your cameras are off, so this will be fine. So you're going to open your mouth up really wide like this and massage into this area here around by the chin, the ears. This jaw, this joint here is uh, one of the tightest and the strongest in the body. So it gets quite tense. You might feel it. And the reason we're working on these points is because a lot of us are at the computer more staring into screens. We can tend to clench our jaw 
and it gets very tight here and then of course creates headaches and we want to alleviate any of that as much as we can. So opening and closing your mouth as you massage that area. Okay, now shake the hands out. And then taking the fingertips together at the forehead, pressing in and sliding the forehead away and massaging into the temples. So this part of our brain, always thinking, navigating everything, tends to overwork. We're just going to massage here, just start to soothe its um, action, just to start to calm down. All right. And then closing the eyes. Settling into your seat. If you're lying down, settling into wherever you're lying down. And just like with water, when it's stirred up, once you leave it alone and let it settle, everything just starts to slow down. And that's all we're doing here right now. We're leaving everything alone and letting the energy settle. A few more moments of quiet, just settling in your seat. Okay, and then breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. In, out. You can make them like sighs, you can make them loud, keep going, breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth slowly. I'm just going to time this for three minutes, just keep going. Slow breath out, you can make noise with it. And start to extend the out breath so that it's longer than the in breath. And what you want to do is imagine that there's a candle there in front of you, but you don't want it to go out. So you're inhaling through the nose and then exhaling out through the mouth. But you're not trying to put the candle out. You might notice tinglings and sensations in the body. See if you can breathe now from the belly. So you'll continue to do this breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. But see if you can breathe from the tummy and not the chest. So relaxing the belly. So this styles down the adrenaline and the cortisol and any other re reactions and just slows them to a halt. And it's, we've actually just done two minutes. So just check in and see how you feel. And this is a technique that's used by top athletes, military, Breath is a very quick changer for the system.
Okay, so we'll continue with this, but slightly differently this time. You're going to be breathing in and out through the nose. And you've got two options. One is just to follow the breath in and out, so to feel the sensations of breath as it comes in through the nose, down into the body, try and follow its journey and then out again. Or if you need to give your mind something active to do, you can count, you can just do um, in and out. So in breath in, out breath out, and that focuses the mind um, away from its tendency to want to create lots of stories. So in and out. In. and out. So keep going at your own pace, keeping in, um, in focus that you're breathing from the tummy and not the chest. And this can take a little bit of readjustment as the body um, gets used to it. In and out. Okay, now just release that practice and check in, see how you're doing. If you need to shrug your shoulders, maybe also massage them, you can do that. Just grabbing and squeezing along any areas that feel tight. You can also press your fingers into your scalp. This can be really, really nice. All right, now one other practice. So I'm giving you, there's three little breath practices here today that you can just anchor in at any point through the day. And this one um, requires your hand to go, take the peace fingers and wrap them into your palm. And then you're left with these three. And your thumb is gonna block off the right nostril and your ring finger will block off well, assuming you're using your right hand. So you're gonna use the thumb and finger to block off the nostrils, okay? So if none of that works and it's too much for today, just use your two fingers, right? So let's start here. Because sometimes my, when it's too much going on, I mean, I find it very hard to think. I don't know about you, but anyway, here we go. Blocking off the right nostril. Inhale left. 
block off the left nostril and exhale on the other side on the right. Come back round again. Inhale left. Exhale right. You can look at me if you need guidance. Inhale left. Exhale right. If you're doing it with just the fingers, inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale left. Exhale right. So that one is specifically, you can keep going. That one is specifically if you feel like it's you're completely overwhelmed, just spiraling out, um, there's too much happening. That one is soothing, that particular pattern. And if you've got children at home, you can play with them and get them to do it as well. And um, it's a nice soother before bedtime. So just keep, just try that out for yourself. Okay, and release. Now take a long deep breath in. And so there's an S breath out. Keep going with that. It's an excellent one to release any tension. The kids love it. It sounds like a snake, clearly. But this is like um, letting go of tension that's been built up within. In long, deep inhale. Okay, now I'm just going to guide you in a little relaxation with the remaining time that we've got left. And I'll leave a period of silence at the end. Um, and I've purposely left lots of gaps of silence because we have so much information coming in. So enjoy the quiet if you can. So wherever you are, whether you're lying down or seated, and you can take these next few moments to adjust if you want to change where you are. Get acquainted with the room that you're in. You can have a little look around to take in all the textures, the sounds that are around. I can hear my radiator. My daughter's agreed to be quiet, so this is good. You may have other sounds around you, so bring them as part of the experience. Nothing needs to be a certain way. It's all part of this. And as you take in the sounds around you, the sights around you, the textures, the colors, the light, the dark, feel into where you're seated or lying, start to feel where your body makes contact with anything. I advise starting with your feet, and then working your way up the body. So with each in breath, breathing in nourishment, and with each out breath, relaxation. So the body starts to respond and lets go. Inhale, nourishment. <clears throat> Exhale, relaxation. It can be like this wave, inhaling up the body, exhaling down the body. Inhale, nourishment. Exhale, relax. Breathing in vitality, 
breathing in vitality to all the cells. And breathing out, just relaxing and receiving. Receiving the goodness. Inhale, filling up. And exhaling, relax. Okay, slowly bringing your attention back to your body. Rub your hands together to create some heat. Rub them quite vigorously. And then cup them over your eyes so that the fingers are resting in the hairline. And slowly open your eyes and then slowly remove the hands and come back. If you feel to share one word in the chat about how you are now, that would be lovely to hear, but no, no need otherwise. Um, yeah, I'm just looking at these notes I made, which, um, a kind of guidance really for going through times like this and remember to call a friend and connect in you know this I'm just going to just kind of anchor it in even just to check that how they are peaceful clear oh yes lovely um and laughter I mean I'm getting through all memes right now um doing something with your hands it's really helpful um yeah, peaceful and clear. Well, that's perfect. We like being peaceful and clear. It's so nice to see you, um, to be here and spend this time chilled. Great, me too. Um, yeah, 
I don't have anything else to share. I just want to send you lots of love and um, hope you have a great rest of your day and that you get some little tips that you can put in if you need them. So yeah, thanks for being here. Thanks, Kirsty. You're welcome, Faye. Speak to you later, my love. Speak later. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye, bye. bye. Thank you. Bye.